After nearly three long years, the sentencing for the man who killed two people and changed the lives of two other families forever is here. On Tuesday, the sentencing for Jonathan Birch kicked off in front of victims and their families, including Casey Blanchard, his family, the family of Shelly Hayes, and the family of Montana Highway Patrol Trooper Wade Palmer. Birch's actions that night forever altered the path that my family was on and has forever altered our lives. Because he chose to shoot people in cold blood with no remorse for his actions whatsoever. During all of the court proceedings I have watched, I have absolutely seen no remorse. I have no doubt that if this, has, if this person ever gets out of jail, he will do the same thing to other families. He has handed down a life sentence to each one of these victims in one way or another. Trooper Palmer's wife, Lindsay, asked Judge Shane Venata for a life sentence without the possibility of parole. He cannot talk verbally, but he did this. Which translates to lock him up, throw away the key. Victim Casey Blanchard, his fiance and brother, also watched the hearing. Two courtrooms were packed with law enforcement officers and friends and family of the victims. Prosecutors showed video of the March 2019 incident, including dash cam footage from Birch's car as he followed the victims, as well as crime scene photos that are too graphic to show. And the 911 call made by Julie Blanchard. 911, what's your location of your emergency? Multiple witnesses, including Trooper Palmer's daughters and family members of Shelly Hayes, sent written statements, which were read out loud. The phone call with the news at about 5 a.m. and I had to figure out how to tell our five-year-old Chloe that a bad guy killed her daddy. The mother of Shelly Hayes' daughter spoke, recounting the way she explained the death. I told her that the bad guy would be in jail forever to give her some sort of peace after telling her what I just did. I truly hope that he is put away for life so I'm not breaking my promise to her. Almost all who spoke asked for the maximum penalty. The sentencing will continue Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. In Missoula, Katie Miller, MTN News.